Hello guys, I'm back from another video and today we're talking about what if Bell had a symbiote. So, in the last video we talked about how Bell, after getting to the city of Rario, he would go to the guild as he meets his, well, advisor. And her name is Aina Tule. After telling, well, her that he wants to join the familia, she would find that a familia wants to, well, um, have some familia members, but, well, this familia is quite weak, mostly because, well, this familia's goddess doesn't really have any adventurers, so basically Belle's the only adventurer that decided to join her familia, and this goddess was Hestia. So, after meeting her, they basically gone on to do some adventure, mostly just like going to the dungeon, and also beating the Loki familia, which when Bet tried to fight him, well, he basically got beaten up and basically was punished. Yeah. So, after that, he goes and was told by one of the employees of the hostess of the fertility, or fertility specifically, or whatever you want to call it, or the tavern. Yeah, let's just call it the tavern. After one of their employees told Belle that, well, she wants her, well, wallet or purse back. So he tells him to go to the monster filia, where she left it. So we move to a different perspective, which was in the perspective of Loki and, well, the, well, Yandere over there, aka Freya, after telling, well, well, you know, Miss Crazy Face over there about Belle, well, let's just say she's quite interested in Belle, mostly because of his power and his pure soul, not only that, because he's after all feels with the god, being the foreign god, being null. So, just thinking canon, he basically defeats that monster, but with much more ease thanks to the help of, like, Null, and after that, he basically goes back home, and basically goes to sleep on the couch. So, yeah, that's basically the end of that episode, and so, let's talk about what happens next. So, currently, we move to Belle, basically, waiting in the plaza, waiting for Aina. Apparently, Aina wants to bring, well, Belle to a certain blacksmith shop, specifically Miss Hephaestus. So, when he does get there, he meets Hephaestus, the goddess, and some of her, well, subordinates, specifically her familiar members, as she would say this. Oh, it's nice meeting you, Mr. Bell, I'm guessing, as he would say this. Likewise, so what do you want to bring me here for? As she would say this. Well, it's because of your armor. Like, your armor was absolutely amazing. The craftsmanship. As Null would come out of there, as he would say this. Yes. My armor is actually based off, well, my old armor back in life. I was, after all, a god of darkness, so it makes sense that my armor looks, well, darkened. As one of them would say this. Being one of her familiar members, so you must be the god, right? As he would say this. Yes. My name is Null. And you will address me as that for now. As for Hephaestus, she would say this. Great. Now, I want to show you some of my weapons, and what do you think? So, after testing out a lot of weapons, which are mostly pretty strong, well, Belle would just say this. Well, your weapons are pretty strong, but I just prefer my claws and, well, this. As he would bring out all black. As the familiar members were shocked seeing this weapon. It seems to be a shifting sword, able to change its shape. As, let's just say, Hephaestus is basically just like, Ooh, I want that. <laughs> basically, just like a child, like, looking for a toy. As she would say this. So, that must be, as he would say this, being null, this is my sword, all black, a sword made from the first symbiote, one of my children. Not only that, 
this sword can shift and change its shape. It can turn into a knife or maybe even a sword or maybe even a broadsword or even something different. As she would hear this as she would say this. Can you please me can you please tell me how to do that? Being a well, Ophysis would say that, really childlike, as Null would tell her. Well, it's pretty simple. As he would just whisper it into her, into her ear as he, she would say this. Huh. Maybe I should tell... As she'd start, like, whispering to herself, just, like, mumbling, just like Deku from, like, um, My Hero Academia. As she would say this. Um, nice talking to you guys. Anyway, I should be leaving. As... She would be leaving with the rest of her family, as Belle would say this. So, was that all, Miss Ina? As Ina would say this. Not all, technically. I wanted to show you some of the, well, brand new blacksmiths in town. Apparently, they really want to see if you like their armors. I mean, your armor's pretty strong, so... So, after a while in, like, the top, like, floor, evaluating some of their armors and weapons, Bell would be beat. As he would say this. Uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, he's just like super tired. As Hestia would come out, as she would say this. Um, Bell, what happened to you? As he would say this. Uh, uh, today's work was pretty much just evaluation most of the time there. As she would say this. What do you mean? As he would say this, well, my advisor told me that I should probably go with her, and I actually met with Hephaestus. As she would say this, she would say this, wait, you met Hephaestus? As he would say this, yeah. She wanted to see armor, specifically my armor and my sword, all black. As she would say this, so what did she think? As he would say this, well, she was... Enthusiastic, to say the least. As she would sound a bit angry, kind of. As she would say this. So, what is that supposed to mean? As she looks kind of angry. As Belle would say this. Well, she kind of looked interested in my weapons. As Null would say this. Yes. And I told her how to make a similar type of weapon to All Black. Which, well, is going to be hard for her to try and make, but still, it's going to be all worth it for her. As she would say this, I see, and how about your advisor? As he would say this, well, my advisor just brought me there to just, like, evaluate some armors there, and dang, that take long. As she would say this, so that took so long, I guess that's why... You you were late. Pretty late, in fact. I thought you were two-timing me. As he would say this. What do you mean by two-timing? As she would say this. Oh, anyway. You should probably get some rest. As Belle would go to sleep as for the next day would come. So we move to Belle basically waking up as he starts going to the dungeon. While going through an alleyway, he bumps into a young girl. This young girl seems to be hooded, as she seems to be running from this man, who seems to be saying, YOU DAMN THIEF! As he gets ready to slash at the little girl, Belle would summon out All Black, as half of his body would be encased in the armor, as the guy would say this, THE HELL ARE YOU, AND WHY ARE YOU DEFENDING THIS DAMN THIEF? As he would say this, whoa, 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 whoa. what do you mean by thief? As he would say this, THIS DAMN this damn thief stole my weapon! As he would say this, really. As he would look over, as she seems to be quite scared. As he would say this, are you sure, sir? As she, he would say this, I'm pretty sure! Look, as he would go into his, well, um, skirting armor, as he would see that he actually used to have two swords. As another person would arrive. This other person was Liu Leon, or at least that's I think that's her name. Yeah, that's her name. Ru Ryu, or just like Rui, or whatever you want to call her. I'm just gonna call her Ruyu, or whatever. 
I mean, it's R-Y-U-U, -U, and I'm just gonna call her just like, Ryu, okay? Good. Or you can just tell me how to say it. Anyway, Ryu would say this, so, why exactly are you fighting? As he would say this, just leave you damn elf, as she would say this, so, you're daring to talk to me like that. As she glive, like, he, like, she gives, like, this almost deathly stare, like, she's saying to herself, I swear to god if you do that, I will kill you, as the guy would start running away. As she would say this to Bell, so, are you okay, Mr. Bell? As he would say this, wait, you're an, empo you're an employee for the, as she would say this, yes, I am. I'm an employee to the, wait for a second, of the Hostess of Fertility. And as for you, child, as she seems to have left, like she vanished, as this girl would run off with her surprisingly large bag that she brought, as Belle would say this, huh, I guess she left, as she would say this, how suspicious, anyway. You should be leaving right now. It's going to get dark, so be careful. As she would say this, just be careful against some thieves. I heard that one has been recently started, well, stealing some high-profile adventurous gear. As he would say this, sure. So, after he leaves, well, we move to a different perspective. Being that girl, as She's basically all alone. As when she was all alone, she started getting beaten on by her own familia members. As they would say this, now give us the good stuff. As she would give all of her items that she has stolen to them. Because after all, they're a part of the Somba familia, which I prefer to just call well, the Dionysus Familia, because at that point, um, because they said that, um, that God, or Soma, is basically creating wine, why not just call him just, like, I don't know, like, um, instead of, like, Soma, which is actually the name of, like, not a god, in fact, but a drink from Hindu mythology. Maybe just, like, call him Dionysus instead. Why not? But still, pretty good name, I guess. Anyway, so, after this girl was beaten up. One of them would say this, Thanks, Lily. As they started laughing, as they started going back into their, well, respective rooms. As for Lily, she would start going back to her room, crying. So, wait for a second. So, we move to Belle, basically going through the city again, after the next day. So, He's basically deciding to go back to the dungeon as he sees a girl coming up to him. The same girl that was being beaten up by that guy. As she would say this, um, uh, hello, um, we met before, right? You were the one that saved me. As he would say this, oh, yeah, I mean, it's a heroic thing to do, so, as she would say this, well, <laughs> It's nice to meet you. The name is Lily. Um, wait for a second. Lily Ruku Ruka Arde, which is her, like, full name. As he would say this. Oh, nice to meet you. Actually, should I just call you Lily for convenience? As she would say this. Sure. As he would say this. So, what do you want? As he would say this. I meant she. Well, um... Can I please support you? I am a support, well, um, you know. As he would say this. Oh, you want to support me? Sure, why not? So, when he does let her, he started leaving with her. As he started going into the dungeon, basically defeating some monsters. Well, Bell's mostly doing all of the work, as he would get several cores. She would also see that... Most of his weapons are basically in his body system, or more specifically with Null, which she can't steal anything at all, so it doesn't happen, just like in canon. So, after doing that whole thing, 
he would start going back, well, to the guild as he exchanged it for some Valus. After doing that, he would he would basically split his money 50-50 to, well, Lily, as she would say this. Wait, you would give your money to me? As he would say this. Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, you did help me, so why not 50-50? As she would say this. But I didn't do anything, but as he would say this. Come on, don't be hard on yourself or whatever. Um, by the way, next time don't steal. As she would say this. Uh, thank you. So, after they leave, Null would say this. That was a nice gesture, but anyway. Do that girl seems to be harboring feelings for you for some reason. And I can feel that. As he would say this. Wait, um, wait, what do you mean by as he would say this? Well, I can sense the emotions of a person just by feeling them. And that girl over there seems to be harboring feelings. It also seems to be similar to Hestia. She also seems to be harboring feelings to you. Like, it's super obvious. As he would say this. Uh, uh whatever, let's just uh, go back. As he would say this. You can't hide from the truth, spell. As he would say this. I would rather do. So, we go back to Bell, basically. Wait, wait, wait for a second, just let me. Yeah, sorry about that. So, Bell is basically back at home as he was being checked on by Hestia, checking his stats as he's now at level 2, this fast, as she would say this, whoa, Bell, you seem to be um, leveling super fast, but mostly he's in the negative side, as he would say this, is that bad? I mean, I'm pretty strong now, so, as she would say this, yes, but it seems that it's going more like negative, like negative 1 or negative 2. In this case, you're now level 3. What? As she would say this. Like, how are you level 3 now? This is impossible. Like, as Belle would say this. Um, I don't know what is happening to me, so... Maybe it's... As he would say this. Yeah, it's obviously me. I can easily tell that a person is getting stronger. And in this case, thanks to me, Bell is getting stronger by the minute. And soon he will be stronger than any other person in this world. Maybe even stronger than the top elites in, well, many other familias. <laughs> thanks to yours truly. As she would say this, I'm, I'm so blessed that I finally got the familiar member. In fact, you're actually pretty strong, and as he would say this, um, can you please stop complimenting me? You're just making me blush. <laughs> as she would say this, I'm being serious, you're super strong, and you're absolutely amazing. Everything. <laughs> anyway, you should probably get some sleep. As Belle would say this, you're telling me, ah, that was a beat. Ah, <sighs> um, I'm beat. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night, Hestia. As Hestia would say this. Good night, Belle. As both of them would go to sleep. So the next day comes, and this would happen. And by the way, this is another different perspective. So yeah. So, in this perspective, well, she's being beaten up again, being Lily, as. After her familiar members, or at least her so-called friends, quote unquote, after they see that she gotten a lot of like Dallas, I meant Valus, I meant, well, they would basically just look at her as they say this, who did you steal it from? I'm guessing from a high profile adventurer, I'm guessing. <laughs> anyway, thanks. As he would punch her right in the stomach, as they would just leave her again. So, the next day comes as basically Belle is going to the dungeon with, well, you know, with her. As he would see that she
he used to be, well, kind of down. As he would say this. Um, are you okay, Lily? As she would say this. Oh, I'm fine. Um, don't worry about me. As he would say this. Um, sure. Just tell me if you're okay, okay? As he would just pat her on the head, as she would say this. Um, sure. She's kind of blushing, as he would smile, as Null would say this. Hey, enough of the small talk. As Lily never seen him before, so she kind of squeals, as she would say this. E what is that? As he would say this. Oh, this is the foreign god. He's from a different world. As she would say this. You mean that foreign god? The one that... Wait. Your must be that... As he would say this. Yep, uh, I'm the one who killed the black dragon. Yeah. I can't believe world has, like... Wait for a second. I can't believe word spread so quickly. As she would say this. So, I've been helping the... Uh, She's kind of shaking, as he would say this. Um, why are you shaking? You're quite famous. In fact, you're quite powerful. And I can't believe I'm working with you. As he would say this. Um, please don't say that. It sounds weird. Anyway, um, thank you, I guess. By the way, this is Null. Null, this is Lily. As Null would say this. Nice meeting you, child. Anyway, if you have some troubles, just tell me and Belle, and we'll take care of it. As you would say this, you sound like, actually you sound like somebody that would assassinate a person. As you would say this, I mean, am I wrong? As you would say this, yeah, you would just say that bluntly, as you would say this. I thought you were going to say, no you're not, or... As he would say this, well, you are a god of darkness after all. As he would say this, Duh, whatever, let's keep working. So, after a while of like going through the dungeon, he would do his usual pay for her. Half and half, basically just like 50-50. As he would leave, as he goes back to the hostess of fertility. When he gets there, everybody's just like looking at him thinking, Damn, he's quite strong. As he started saying, I can't believe he actually defeated the Black Dragon and absorbed his power. As he would say this to one of the um, waitresses, or employees, I can't believe many people are talking about me. As she would say this, Well, it's obvious, you're quite powerful and famous here now. Anyway, what do you want to order? As he would say this, Oh, just my usual. As he would pay, as he's waiting for his, well, um, you know, food. He sees something in the corner of his eye. A book. As he would tell everybody, Hey, whose book is this? As everybody would just say, Wait, is that a grimoire? They basically started raising their hands saying, No, it's mine, as they say, No, it's mine, as... Izu no, not Izuku, I meant Bell. god damn it. Bell would say, Um, please, one at a time. As... He accidentally, you know, causes the book to basically fall down, and it turns out it was a grimoire. As he accidentally looks at it, and it started glowing as it basically disappears. Yep, all of the, well, every single, like, page there is basically gone. All of the letters, all of the writing, just gone. As everybody would, like, everybody would just realize that Bell has magic now. I mean, technically, he technically has magic back in the day, being, well, his, like, um, black fire, but it's more of a skill than anything else, but still, as everybody would say this, I think we just made him overpowered. As Bell would say this, what the heck was that? Ah, oh, my eyes. As one of them would say this, um, here's your order, sir. As they would look as the like she sees like everybody just like standing up real like holding their hands up as she would say this okay anyway i should be leaving it here as she puts her like she puts like bell's food on the table as she leaves so after bell finishes eating he would 
bring the book to Hestia, telling her about what happened. As she would say this, You read a grimoire? As Belle would say this, So what is that? What is a grimoire exactly? As well, Null would say this, Well, I don't know either, but it sounds quite interesting to me, so can you please explain, Miss Hestia? As Hestia would say this, Well, a grimoire is basically a book that when you read it, it basically gives you magic, instantly, but it only works once, so, as Bell would see this, so I basically have now the powers to use magic now, as she would say this, pretty much, as Bell would say this, cool, huh, as Bell would say this, so am I able to, as she would say this, Yes, but for now, you should just wait. We need to check what is your aptitude. As he would say this. Aptitude. As she would say this. Yes. It's basically what your element is. In this case, it seems that you're more suited for fire. Because of the black fire that you use in your skill. So. After looking at his stats, she would see that he's able to use magic now. As he was pretty excited for that, as he would tell um, Hestia that he's gonna go to the dungeon later. After he leaves, he started going straight to the dungeon as he started going there. Wait for a second. So after he gets to the dungeon, he would start fighting some monsters. As after a while of fighting monsters, he would try and use magic for once as he would start thinking of an idea. As, after a while of thinking, he would feel something coming out. As, after a while, a monster would come out of nowhere as he thinks of something, a bolt of lightning mixed with fire. As he would say out loud, FIRE BOLT! As black electricity mixed with his black fire come out, creating a basically a lightning of fireball as it would explode the monster right in front of him as he would stay this so what the did I did I do it I'm guessing this is my magic huh I guess it kind of works as no would say this hmm you're able to use the electricity now but only if you mix it with fire Interesting, but still, pretty powerful and quite reckless of you doing that. Now, let's test it out on these, as several monsters would look around him, as they look like they're getting ready to fight him, as he would say this, being null. These damn targets! As Bell would say this, now you're thinking my language. Now, Bell would create his wings as he would say this. Let's have some fun. As Bell would basically massacre them. Basically destroying all of them. So, after doing that, Bell would feel kind of tired. As he would say this. Oh, maybe I should make a little camp for now. Oh, God. So, sorry about that. Bell would basically make his, well, um, little tent, which he made it by himself. He bought it, like, I don't know, earlier. After he did that, he basically falls asleep. But, well, we move to a different perspective. A perspective which is on eyes. Eyes Wolenstein, or whatever you want to call her. Or the Sword Princess. So, Eyes would be going through the dungeon with her friend or familiar member. Her name is Rivia. So, when she is like looking through the dungeon, she sees a little camp. As Rivia would say this, be careful, it might be a monster. As Eyes would say this, sure. As when they looked inside, they would see Belle sleeping soundly. As one of them would wonder why is he here, as Rivia would say this, um, look over there, as she would see 
several, well, you know, dust basically there. As they know what dust is. It's basically the dead remains, or at least the quote-unquote remains, of the monsters. Seeing tons of it all over that place, well, they put two and two together, as it turns out, Bell basically committed a slaughter, basically, well, basically just like killed every single monster in that area. As one of them being Rivia would say this, I'm guessing that's why the monster just, you know, come here. As, well, she would say this, being, wait for a second, being eyes, as she would say this, well, no time like the present. I should probably sleep here. Hey, Rivia, stay watch, okay? As she would say this. So you're planning to sleep here in the dungeon? As she would say this. Yes, we need to conserve Endry after all. So, after she falls asleep in, well, Belle's tent, as for Rivia, she also, um, well, is basically watching all night. Belle would wake up as he would see, well, you know, eyes, basically in front of him in the bed. As after he wakes up, Belle was just like confused on what happened, but thankfully Rivia and, well, um, eyes would explain what happened. As after that, well, he would go back to his, you know, wait for a second. So, after packing things up, well, Rivia would say this, so you're basically leaving now? As he would say this, yeah, I think that's enough. As he, like, um, <laughs> just like, um, there's like this little ditch that he made, and one of them would say this, so what is, what are you doing, says Eyes. As Bell would say this, well, I need to bring my monster cores somewhere, so, as, after he goes into that ditch, he would bring a big bag of, like, monster cores, as every, like, um, the two of them would see it as they would say this. Um, are you even strong enough to carry that? As Bell would say this. Hmm? As Bell is just using his tentacles to do that. As they would just like jaw drop. Even though, um, eyes would not like, um, vision. Like, even though eyes doesn't look like it, on the inside she's just like completely impressed. As he would say this. Anyway, see ya as he would start creating wings and starts flying away. After bringing the monster cores to, well, to the guild, he would get, um, I don't know, maybe like, um, thousands upon thousands of Dallas, I meant Valus. As, after he comes back, Hestia would be happy seeing him again, as he basically goes back to sleep because he just wants to forget about that, you know, little incident in the dungeon. And, yeah. This is going to be the end of the episode. Sorry. <laughs> even though this is a great episode to end on, like, even though I should continue this, unfortunately, no. This is going to be the end of the episode, but don't worry, I'm still gonna do this series. I mean, this tradition, so yeah. So, I hope you liked the video. Comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!